number one. Roundworms. These horrible little buggers can make the jump to humans via mosquito bite. Once they're in your system, they can live for up to eight years and wreak havoc on your lymphatic system. The result is typically severe disfigurement involving limb swelling, the host's limbs swell and their skin thickens, causing permanent disability. One billion people, mostly in Africa, suffer from some form of lymphatic filariasis, and require chemotherapy to prevent the spread of the parasite. Of those, 40 million have been disfigured by it. Number 2. Guinea Worm One can contract a guinea worm by drinking water containing water fleas. These fleas are typically carriers of guinea worm larvae. Those infected with the guinea worm will show no symptoms for a time until a blister forms under the skin near the foot. Soon, the worm will try to emerge from this blister to start the life cycle over again. Luckily, Rates of guinea worm infection are at historic lows thanks to improvements in drinking water filtration. Number 3. Hookworm. Hookworms are voracious bloodsuckers so much so that they can cause intestinal inflammation and severe anemia from sucking on the host's intestinal walls. What's even worse is how they get inside the host in the first place. In the words of parasitologist Norman Stoll, these silent and insidious creatures generally infect people who walk barefoot in areas contaminated by fecal matter. The larvae penetrate the skin of the foot, and then migrate through the lungs into the trachea where the host swallows them. Once they pass into the digestive system, the larvae mature into adult worms. The worms then mate in the intestine. Female hookworms can lay up to 30,000 eggs a day, which are all passed when the host goes to the bathroom. Because the worms take five to seven weeks to mature, early diagnosis can be difficult as no eggs can be found in a patient's stool. After those early stages, hookworm infections can last up to five years. Though it's easy to treat an infection once it's diagnosed, still seems right on the money in calling these parasites evil. Number 4. Liver Fluke The choice method of entry for the liver fluke is through contaminated water. Once inside your system, they find their way to your liver where they make a home for themselves near your bile ducts. Yummy! Those infected can expect to enjoy severe pain and liver infections. Oh, and these buggers can live for up to 30 years, so it's not an infection that's over quickly. Number 5. Acanthamoeba keratitis. Acanthamoeba keratitis is the reason why you should change your contact lenses regularly. It's a small amoeba that enters through the eye and eventually attacks the cornea. Should this happen, the best case scenario is corneal scarring, but blindness is more common. This infection is common for contact lens wearers who leave their lenses in too long. Number 6. Botfly. Botflies cause myiasis. A truly disturbing infection in which maggots hatch in human tissue. While rare in the United States, it's still prevalent in South America and Africa. They work like this. First, botflies attach their eggs to mosquitoes. Then, when the mosquitoes bite some unsuspecting tourist, the eggs instantly hatch and the larvae enter the skin through the bite. But sometimes the larvae do it the easy way and simply burrow into human flesh. Tiny barbs on their bodies latch onto their host ensuring that they don't come loose. A lump then develops under the skin as the larvae grows. The host may even see the larvae squirm under the skin. Before you panic, know that the maggots are surprisingly easy to remove. A healthcare provider simply applies a thick substance like petroleum jelly on the hole in the skin through which the larvae breathes. The intruder suffocates, and the healthcare provider can then remove its carcass with tweezers 